Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. In this lesson will be entitled The Most High's System and Chip. Lord, will you are edified? Okay. Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh. The powers that Okay, be, so the so-called white man, how did they get the power? The most high put him in power. Gave him the power, yeah. That microchip, which is the mark of the beast, first of all, who set up the beast? The, so, the most high set up the beast. Uh, Daniel's 417. Daniel 4, the beautiful. Daniel 417. Yeah. And we can probably read that in time, you know? Go ahead. Uh, Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh. The so the Most High is the supreme power. Yep. So why is the so-called white man in power? Because the Most High put him in power. Right. Absolutely. Why was the Babylonians in power? Because the Most High put him. And that's the point. Okay. So Esau has control. Esau has the dominion through the power, through the will, through the counsel of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth, meaning what? Rulership. Dominion is given into the hand, meaning power of the wicked. Hence, the Edomites, beginning with their nobility, their high-born, okay, the international bankers. He cover the faces of the judges thereof, and that's literal. If not, where and who is he? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked through the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. All right, let's go to Daniel chapter 4. Let's get verse 17. And it states, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living, hence the elect, may know that the Most High rule in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of men okay now hence Esau's rulership because Esau is the basis of men okay now let's focus on rule according to the Hebrew Strong's H seventy nine ninety pronounced as Shala Shalayat Shalayat. Okay. Or you can say Shala Yata. All right. Now it states having mastery, having authority. Okay, authorize. Let's go to the lexicon. Having power over anything. Okay, having power over anything. So, in a nutshell, the Most High, who is Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Authorize Esau his rulership. And therefore, the scripture states Daniel 4 and 17 this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the, by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rule in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of men. Okay.
Matthew 6 and 10, and this is Yahushua speaking, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Okay? This will transpire once Yahweh <clears throat> establishes the kingdom of heaven. However, the Most High's will is still being done. Okay? Because at this time frame, he is exercising the kingdom of Esau. Okay? And remember, all prophecies has to be fulfilled prior to the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahweh Now, once Esau's rulership has been exhausted by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh then therefore he will exercise a righteous kingdom, which is what? Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Hence, the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahweh All right. Let's go to Isaiah 48 and verse 3. I have declared the former things from the beginning. The I is referring to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And this statement I just read is literal. And they went forth out of my mouth. Okay, through the form of prophecy. And it happened how? In real time. And who is the mouth of the Most High? Hence the prophets. And I showed them real time. I did them suddenly and they came to pass at the appointed time. So prophecies transpired or happened in real time. And the people were warned by the prophets who were inspired by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Keep all of this in mind. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The reason why no, like the reason why the nobility of Edom has this power to give life unto the image of the beast. Hence Job 9 and 24. Hence Daniel 4 and 17. Okay. Hence Isaiah 48 and 3. All right. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That's the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. The system, which is a reflection of the pagan Rome Empire, is the most highest system being exercised by Esau. The nobility of Edom. Okay? This beast is the most highest beast. Why? Because he rules in the kingdom of men. Okay? And the most highest beast consists of what? NATO, EU, and America. Verse 16. And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a bar, hence the microchip, in their right hand or in their foreheads. This is all within the counsel of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. However, it's being exercised by the Edomites. Isaiah 45 and verse 7. I, referring to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushua, form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Esau is evil. Okay? This system, this rulership is evil. However, it's within the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahushua. I, the Lord Yahweh, do all these things. And he stamped this statement with his name. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah 
Ecclesiasticus 11 and 14, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord Yahweh. Nothing happens on earth unless Yahweh Bashem Yahusha authorizes it. Okay. <clears throat> One more. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord Yahweh have made all things for himself, including the wicked. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. More proof, okay, that this system, that the beast, and the chill is all of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. Lord, will you edify Shalom?